you peeps welcome back to my channel I'm back at it with the 3d French style type of nail but this time with a another little twist with I'm trying a geometric shape on the free edge this time and I will take you along my re-journey with me this was an experiment I just figured I'd film it and if it went okay I'd show you if it didn't I wouldn't <laughs> and it went okay so here we are I'm starting off with the nail bed area of course extend that nail bed build your nice wall I've not I've, this is sped up but no, I haven't sped it up as much as I usually do because I've had a, a few people say that they find it difficult to watch when it's so fast so I've slowed this one down. It's it's sped up a little bit, just just a little bit. So I'm hoping that's easier for people to watch. And I've tried really really hard to keep the camera in focus. It does go out of focus at some points. I'm really sorry. I've tried to pay attention to the camera and sort of bring it back into focus when I notice but obviously when I'm busy I don't always see that it's not in focus and I'm trying I've changed the settings on the com camera and everything so oh it's better than the last one so uh, you know I'm making progress so bear with bear with I will work this camera malarkey out at some point <laughs> I'm trying it's not easy I don't you know I don't have any camera experience as such so yeah it's all a bit technical for me but yes most of it is in focus which is a marked improvement on the last one so I'm hoping that um, that makes some people happy hopefully I'm going to cap that nail bed area now to build up my strength Put my apex in, all of that good stuff. So when I say cap, I mean I'm adding clear acrylic to it. I've had somebody ask me what capping meant as well. So just to clarify, when I say I'm capping something, it just means I am including the clear acrylic to the design. That's all that means. Anywho, on with the filing. So I've allowed the nail bed area to set up and go hard and I'm just filing it in. I have included the filing in this video. If, if you don't want to watch the filing, obviously feel free to fast forward on. Some people like to see it, so I've left it in. It can be a bit boring and a bit repetitive, especially with a design like this. So yeah, feel free to fast forward through the filing if you're not interested but yeah for those that want to see they it's in there and that's how we get those beautiful sharp lines is by filing in the walls of each area because I'll call them areas because yeah sections sections areas you know what I mean I'm using my first acrylic colour now, going in with a very, very dark green. I decided to use green for this set. That's just what I fancied doing, so that's what we're doing. And I'm butting that acrylic right up to the nail bed area wall that I've built. And as I'm... This is really hard to describe, but I'm putting the acrylic right up along the, the wall that I've built. But then I'm feathering it down and making it thin along the rest of the free edge, if that makes sense. That's how you get the depth perception. So what is on the free edge of the nail is, is you need to get that as flat as you can, you know, really, really thin as you can. But you have to make sure that you also build the color up along the wall and that's what gives you the, the, the depth illusion, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. It's really hard to put it into words. 
So hopefully the visual helps you understand what I'm saying. I decided to add a few bits and bobs to this design. So this is just some gold leaf. I'm putting a little bit of gold leaf here and there. I thought it might look a bit pretty. So I added some and I thought it would go along match the gold that I used later on, the gold acrylic I used later on. So yeah, anyhow, just a bit of gold leaf. You can use glitter if you want to, whatever you fancy, or none at all. It's up to you. But yeah, I just fancied doing something a little bit different with this one. So everyone's seen the usual standard 3D French now. So I thought I'd, you know, think outside the box and do something a little bit different. And this is what I came up with. Thought I'd share it with you guys. Now that I've finished putting all of the gold leaf that I wanted in, I shall cap that and build yet another wall. Because this is this is how you do it. You just keep building walls. <laughs> I'm just trying to get that the way I like it, the way I want it, should I say. I will file it in just to make those lines nice and sharp. But Yes, I try and do as much with the brush as possible. I'm using very tiny beads because I find it easier to work with designs like this that way rather than adding a huge bead and then having to fight this huge bead to go along the whole wall. I prefer to just add little beads and get them where I want them and then I'm not, you know, under pressure as it were to fight with this big bead and get it everywhere so yeah little beads take your time this design did take me ages because yeah I did I took my time with it I didn't rush it just I had nothing else planned for the day so I thought you know I'd just take my time with it and that's what I did hence the long video I apologize to anyone who doesn't like long videos but as I said before some people are finding it difficult to watch it being the videos being sped up as much as I had been doing so we're, we're going for longer videos but less sped up and hopefully it'll be okay obviously feel free to fast forward at any point you like you can also speed the video up yourself if you look in as you're watching there are three little dots at the top of your screen if you click on those you can actually select to speed the video up yourself don't know if anyone knew that but you can and you can also slow videos down that way too so you can adjust the video to how you like it just just say there are options also you can select HD, all my videos are in HD, so you can select high definition as well. So it's not necessarily that the video is blurry at sometimes, it's just that your Wi Fi connection may be a bit slower, so it selects a, a, a lower quality for your video to play it so that it doesn't um, sit buffering. But you know, you can always select HD and get the top quality for the video so it's, it's crystal clear. Again, just for those who don't know. Yet again, I've let that section harden and I'm filing it in. This, this, that's going to be the theme of the video. Let it harden, file it in. Let it harden, file it in. Plenty of times. Lots, 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 lots. So feel free to fast forward. <laughs> it's, it's tedious. These, these designs are extremely tedious and extremely time consuming. But they are so cool they're so cool i can't say i would do it on a client because yeah ain't nobody got time for that well i don't <laughs> i am not spending so long on just one nail uh, no 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 i can't see myself doing it on a client but you know they're fun to do to just 
have a little practice when you're on your own. Anyway, on with what I'm doing. I'm using another green. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it's a lighter color green. And again, I'm going straight for the wall area, first of all. Yeah, straight up, making sure that it is completely butted up against that wall. And slightly overlapping to make sure that when I file back that that edge is nice and crisp and sharp the way I want it to be. So this is the first part of the ge geometric design and you can see how I'm shaping that into a point. And now I'm adding some little glitter dots. No, I'm taking them off apparently. I, I'm not happy. <laughs> I didn't like the way that corner was going, that point was going, so yes, I, I, I flicked them off. <laughs> you can do these things, you know, change your mind. You can you can change your mind. I, think I change my mind a lot. As you probably noticed, that, that, that's, that's kind of what I do. <laughs> so now I'm happy with it. I think I have my dots back in now. Yes, yes, adding the dots back in. So these are just glitter dots, iridescent E type, yeah that's that's all they are, I thought I'd add a few of those in, why not? Not sure they actually went with the design but I added them anyway because I felt like it. <laughs> oh, I'm still adding a few dots, am I happy now? Yes, I'm happy with that now, so in with the capping. And again, I want to make sure my wall is built, ready for filing and then button my next colour up to. Okay, yeah. Really using my brush to do most of the work. It really, that, that's like the hugest tip, hugest, is that even a word? No, that's not a word, Karen. That is the best tip anyone can give you is to use your brush as much as possible to do the work so that you have less filing. I hate filing, my hands cramp and I have a lot of trouble with my wrist and my fingers. And you will see at some point I end up having to put my wrist brace on my hands are giving me so much git jip, but anyhow, use your brush to do most of the work. Therefore, less filing you have, the better in my opinion. I hate it. Hate filing. Hate it, hate it. But I'm a perfectionist, so I always like to make sure that my filing is really well done. And yeah, I like my nails to be smooth and contoured properly. That's me. So here we go again, filing it in now that it's hardened. And yeah, I've got my wrist brace on now at this point. I, my hands were cramping so bad and my wrist was killing me. So wrist brace on and carry on. The show must go on as they say. So as you can see, I'm really butting the file up against that wall but I'm not pushing down with the file I'm pushing against the wall yeah to try not to file into the nail underneath you just want to file the wall not not cut into the nail below in with the next color again theme of the video butt it up butt it up just keep butting up <laughs> oh gosh they are good they, this i i do this color and it wouldn't be a camera video if i didn't do something really silly and yeah i'll explain that when we get to that part but let's let's get this this green layer on and then uh i'll explain the nonsense <laughs> just Okay. It wouldn't be a Karen video if I didn't do something to make my life harder. <laughs> oh, yeah, 
when we get to that bit I'll explain but get 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 your base color nice and flat and as thin as you can on the nail and up against that wall nicely overlap it if on the wall as, you, as, as needed to make sure you get nice crisp lines when you file back I'm just trying to make sure my camera is in focus then I am trying people I really am so I wasn't happy with that point so adding a little bit more of the green acrylic and then using my brush bring that line nice and neat there we go now this is the point where the camera is, is gone out of focus and I haven't noticed and I'm really really sorry so I'm literally adding a bit of clear acrylic and then adding some more of those glitter dots to the nail and I, I can only apologize I hadn't noticed that it the camera had gone out of focus again and that's extremely annoying and frustrating I know I'm sorry that's all I can do is say I'm sorry but yeah this is this is fuzzy and it's annoying and I hate it I'm sorry <laughs> I'm gutted that it was out of focus for so long. I mean it will go back into focus I do notice eventually yeah. but yeah it's out of focus for quite a bit and I'm, I'm gutted totally gutted this happened in the last video and I was I was totally distressed about it but what can you do it's what's done is done you know you only notice when you when you play it back and by then it's too late to do anything about it like I said, I do try and look up every so often and make sure that it's in focus, but I got it in focus and then it went back out of focus again. Oh, it's just annoying. It's so annoying. But you know the routine by now anyway. You've seen the other side. I am, see, look, like I'm trying to get it into focus now. Yeah, I'm just adding their glitter dots, adding my clear, cap it off, you know. You know how it goes. And again, I'm using tiny, teeny, teeny, weeny little beads. So this is this is this is the Karen moment. Karen has decided that she should use her craft knife because she's finally realised that she's never going to be able to fit a nail file into this V shape. <laughs> But as you can see, Karen waited too long and the acrylic's pretty much set, so she's fighting with the craft knife. Oh, why do I do these things? I tell you, I'm, I'm a nightmare. I really do like to make life harder for myself because had I realised that before, had I thought of it before, had the thought even occurred to me, I would have cut that bit out, you know, used my craft knife to cut that, that, that wall way before it had set too hard to do so but yeah anyhow that's that's there's your, there's your Karen moment because you know it's what I'm what I'm good at <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos you know what I'm like I just I remember things afterwards while I struggle because <laughs> that's just me I'm ditzy I'm, I'm clearly clearly very ditzy anyway in with the gold colour now. Oh, good grief. Oh, I'm a nightmare to myself. <laughs> oh, so again, I'm making that layer of acrylic very, very thin and getting it right up to the sides, right up the wall into that V shape that I have um, filed and <coughs> cut. <laughs> Oh dear, what am I like? I watch these things back and I just, I have to laugh at myself because it's just, I'm ridiculous. I really am ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> anyway, oh, so Karen, get over it. In with the clear now. 
just cap cap that last little bit and hallelujah we'll be finished with with laying down the acrylic at least then it will be on to the old filing So I decided to still use teeny tiny beads and at this point I should have just used a big bead and done it in one go. Yeah, like I said, I like to make life hard for myself. <laughs> I do these things. Oh, and I've got no explanation as to why. I, I, I really don't. I've got no excuse. Right, filing time. Again, I'm faffing with the camera to make sure I'm in focus. So, filing routine. Get your side walls, get underneath the nail, make sure there's no acrylic underneath, and then do the side, you know, rotate your file from underneath to up the side. Get those side walls nice and straight. Well, I'm using the E file and I shall do the wonderful reveal of those sharp lines that we went painstakingly filing hand filing each layer yeah what karen speak properly revealing those beautifully crisp lines that we painstakingly filed in on every layer that's what i should have said oh good grief Totally lost the plot again, haven't I? Oh well, wouldn't be a Karen video if I hadn't, would it now? Now as you can see, as I'm filing, those lines are getting sharper and sharper and it gets more and more exciting because you're like, oh, oh, look at that line, it's nice and crisp, how cool is that? Just use the e-file to debulk, reveal my lines, and I actually use a sanding band to do my finish filing because my hands were giving me so much trouble. So I don't use the hand file to finish file. You'll see in a sec. Oh no, I do. What am I talking about? No, at that yeah, no, I try to finish file with the hand file and then I realise my hands just can't take it and then I switch to the sanding band yeah that's what I did so at this point my hand was cramping so bad it was just ugh the pain was excruciating and I tried to try to you know work through it and I just I just couldn't so that's when I switched to the sanding band it's not fun when you yeah your hands hurt and this is you know it's just life isn't it really we do what we have to do and we, we get through it eventually so excuse the ugly bandage strap thing on my hand but needs must and as you can see I still haven't done my other hand I've done one hand with, with that sort of cat's eye polish and I haven't even filled the other hand yet it's just uh, life Your hands hurt you can't do it can you really and as I'm as I'm voicing over I still haven't done my other hand either so ugh, still need to get that done never mind nail tech problems huh most nail pet tech go around with odd hands anyway it's just how we do. <laughs> so I've removed all the dust with some isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe. They say it's lint-free, but they lied because as you saw, I was picking off bits. But yes, top coat. 
Yes. Bring that baby to life. And we finished. Yes. I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds and here is the end result. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope it helps anyone that is looking to do these kind of things with just acrylic and not, not gel polish because most of the videos I've seen everyone's using gel polish. I wanted to do it in just purely acrylic so hope this helps anyone that wanted to know how to do it i hope it helps you out and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you'll subscribe and come back and see another video of mine at some point so take care speak to you soon bye peeps